Welcome back, YouTube. Are you ready? Is Kirby ready? I guess that's a yes. But is my video ready? I guess not, because it happens to be lagging. Great. Uh, yeah, so we have a little bit of opening lag on this. I get a goblet for the first treasure on the left door. And I activate a waterfall, which is, I think is necessary to get the goblet anyway. But I position myself for this next treasure, which is activated by that switch. That chest falls down into that pit as you activate it, and you need to uh, stay under it and tap up immediately in order to get it. As for this one, you just need to get the crash ability to hit the switch across the wall. You can hit it with other abilities like yo-yo too. So that you can open a door and move along. So I just climb up the waterfall by puffing up and we have another treasure, Amber Rose, which I swear is a reference to something, but I don't know what. And we continue on with my uh, laggy footage. Go through the door over there after blowing up in the bomb block, get a fish fossil and the beast fossil. Yes, I already know what those two fossils were. I, I apologize for prior knowledge, okay? I apologize. Continue on, and I blow up the crash giver, I guess you could call it. I want the crash ability. So, I puff up up there again, get the crash. There's a mini boss over there. As soon as he appears, crash. I get my treasure. Machine parts, which has been changed from the original. The machine parts are a reference to um, Kirby's Air Ride. I think it's the one of the legendary machines, I'm not sure. It's not the Dragoon, I know that. Because a lot of people are familiar with the Dragoon from Smash Bros. Brawl. No, it's not the Dragoon, I know that much. And of course, I see a yo-yo enemy, and I know what I want. I'll take that. In all of its efficiency, I, sh I could have taken the, um, the middle route first so that I could get the yo-yo first. I'm not sure. Either way, blow up in the starred block, you have to swim against the current that's blowing you down to get the bucket, which is which is a reference to an old game called Wario's Woods, where apparently Mario had a bucket on his head. And so you need Toad to guide him through Wario's Woods. I don't know how that worked or whatever, but clearly that game didn't do too well if it wasn't only in Japan. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it didn't do too well. To the left over here is another treasure chest, which you could do, you could get by breaking over the blocks. It's a power plant brush, which is a reference to, I think, Kirby's canvas curse? I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure it is. But anyway, continuing on, you go over here, down here, there's, there's a current, a strong current blowing you left. And so I'm trying to readjust myself for this last treasure. When you're about to reach the treasure, the current gets a lot stronger, so you have to get ready to tap up. And at the end, and this treasure chest gives you a hundred dollar, or yeah, hundred dollar coin. Yeah. So once we're done with that, and on to the last one, where oh boy, you go down here, take out the that guy, and break open the blocks because there is a treasure there. And once again, I apologize for the lag because we have a falcon's helmet. I wonder what that is, you know, with the popularity of Captain Falcon these past years, you know, it's kind of hard to not know what that is, especially with Smash Brothers, you know over dramatizing his popularity? I don't know. So I activate this switch here and I try to dash attack the spikes, but I kind of moved into the spikes before the attack activated, so that was silly. My timing was off, in other words. And so was that. But it's kind of hard to see with all the lag, so again, I apologize for that. That was bad. So there's a bomb block there. And the bomb block hides the obvious treasure chest, the cell phone, which is a reference to Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Because the other Kirbys that were with you in the Amazing Mirror were kept in touch using a cell phone. And here is one last thing, it's similar to that current, except that this time it's an airflow blowing you to the left, and you have to jump by all these spikes in order to reach this treasure chest at the end. The Truth Mirror. You break the bomb block, you get your tomato if you took any damage from the spikes and fight the RPG boss once again. Screw those abilities, I'm gonna take him on my trusty yo-yo. 
And here we are, we have a slime that appears, Kirby attacks, and Kirby defeats a slime. Awesome. A puppet appears, Kirby attacks. The puppet takes 72 damage. The puppet attacks. Kirby avoided the attack. Kirby attacks. You beat the puppet. A magician appears. Kirby attacks. The magician takes 72 damage. The magician casts a fire spell in the wrong direction. Kirby attacks. You beat the magician. Kirby defeated all the enemies. You gained 194 experience. Not that it matters. Your puffiness went up by 1. Your ice sparkle went up by 5. Your courage went up by 4. Your sincerity went up by 5. Your maturity went up by 4. Your love went up by 3. Yeah. So, again, again, I have to apologize for the lag because it's, it's kind of getting a mind nerves too. And I realized this only after recording, so, I, you know, not much I could have done about that. I think, I don't know. So, we reached the third area, and this time we have to go inside the castle, to my dismay. So I'm going to save here, and I'm going to leave this off for next time.